Okay, I'm back. Let's do this. Oh, hey there. I see you up there. Are you still alive? Oh, you are. Oh, that was fun. Okay, let's not go back there. I don't remember if there were any more zero gravity areas. Ah, oh, are you serious? Clearly, this is what I needed blocking my way. Take that. Ooh, water. It's pretty cool. Ah, I'll be quiet, Isaac. You'll be fine. Oh. Isaac. God damn, you had like 20 seconds of air left. Calm down. Alright, now we just gotta make the real long walk all the way back. I wonder, can I? Nope. Of course not. I can't make it easier on me. So that would be too easy. Hi there. Oh, that's it? You're only gonna go down after losing one of your limbs? Ah, I thought I heard something else. Oh, I guess I didn't, but you're here. Bye! Alright. What's that? Oh, uh, fan blades. You know, from the vents. Well, might as well use that node. Alright, almost there to getting that health boost. Okay, it's just that guy. Oh, no, I remember this. Yeah, you little fuckers, run. Oh, I thought I ran out of ammo. Yeah, if you go, I remember, I, I, I didn't think I record it, but I, oh, it's just that guy. I sprinted in there, and then I ran into all of those things, and they all climbed up on me. I think that was my, my first death in this game. What was that? I, I, I hear it, there goes again. Like it sounds like an item you can pick up.
Well, I'm just gonna ignore it. There's nothing here. Let's put this here. Alright, making great progress. Let's go save. Okay, you're through. Should be clear from there to the morgue. Remember, the codes are on the captain's body. Okay. Oh, Katzel's online. I haven't seen him online forever. But I, re I remember there being something about that hole. I don't know what. This is Senior Medical Officer Nicole Brennan transmitting ship wide. We need more help. We don't have the resources to deal with this many cases. Nobody would tell us what's happening. These wounds. We are not equipped to deal with this. Get up to the table! Hold him! Nurse, you hold him down! Every corner. That was Nicole, right? I can't tell from here when that log was made. I'm sure she's around here somewhere. Oh, that was fun. Okay, let's get out of here. box. I don't have to shoot you anymore. I just pick you up and I can stomp on you. Take my money. Don't like hearing those noises. Oh. Glass all cracked right there. Well, let's open this and probably meet face to face with another necromorph. No. Ah, I knew it. Not a necromorph, but okay. I hear another one. Okay, it's dark in here. Oh, well, let's just use this. And can I make the shot? Nope, I cannot. That would have been nice, though. Come on, let's turn the power on. Don't. Ah, come on. I'm gonna break this thing. Get in there. There we go. Now it's a lot more welcoming in here. Oh, like that's gonna do a damn to help us. Those are necromorphs, not goats. Ah. All right. Well, my sister left the door wide open. This is much why. This is like a, why I like recording alone, because I don't have stuff like that happening. Because if I didn't realize, I could have said something, and my parents would have walked in and whatnot, all because she didn't close the door. Anyways. Oh, hi. Okay, see you later. Oh, nope, you're coming back. Oh, I missed.
Hi, hi there, Necromorph. Alright, if you saw how slow that Necromorph goes, that's their usual speed. No, I ain't using a power node or that. I need to use it for more important things like upgrades. Ah, I knew I heard something behind me. Excuse me. Damn necromorphs. Ah, money. Hey, quit it with the ambience. Hello? Can anybody hear me? My name is Eileen Fisk. I just woke up in here and everybody was gone. I don't know what's happening. Why do they all leave? I'm going to try and find someone. If you can hear this, please come for me. I can hear scratching in the wall. Mm. Hello? Who's there? Are, are you a doctor? Why is everyone... Wait, I know you. You're Harris, the prisoner from the colony. You killed that nurse. Help! Somebody help me! Please! Please! Okay. Well, that was interesting. Now, I know I can just go in there, and I know it's telling me to go in there, but I'm pretty sure there's something over here, and I also know there's a necromorph over here. Watch. Three, two, one. I've not played this game in a while yet. I tend. Hey! Hey! I was, re I was reading that. Bastards. Oxygen recharge. Why would I need that? We're rolling it in ammo. I think we've already reached max. Yep, we've already reached max ammo. Though, as Roadkiller warned me, much later on in the game, ammo starts to become scarce. Though I played until chapter four, and ammo was never scarce. Hey. <laughs> Hey, stop that. <laughs> Ugh. Um. Okay, then. That was nice. I'm really glad I witnessed that. Now let's move on and pretend we never saw anything. Oh, uh, okay. Science log from Dr. Kine. Officer, blah, blah, blah. Benjamin, previous I asked. Uh, da, da, blah, blah. Story stuff. I don't really care too much. You can pause and read it if you want. What is that? Oh, a bag. Save. Oh, I remember this room. I don't remember that happening, though. Science Log Chief Science Officer Dr. Kine reporting. The colony's problems concern me greatly. I have no doubt they are somehow linked to the discovery of the marker, but the exact nature of that connection is still unknown. 
Almost 40% of the colonists are experiencing a form of dementia. The obvious symptoms are acute depression, insomnia, and hallucination. Incidents of violence and even murder also indicate extreme paranoia. Dr. Mercer has advised that I bring some of the affected on board for study. Dr. Wellen, the planet-side psychiatrist, has reported that his own analysis has been fruitless. I'm hesitant to rely on Dr. Mercer at this point, but I need his expertise. We need solutions, and we need them quickly. Okay. Ah! Ah! Monster. Oh, he doesn't have any more tentacles. Or did he put him away? Okay, just put him away. I swear, I've never been attacked by this thing. What does it shoot at you? Can't really see. Oh well. Now, I remember there being a really interesting glitch with this elevator. I don't know if I can replicate it. If I can't, then I have recording of it happening. But, yeah. A morgue. Lovely. I don't think there are anything... Ah. Hi. Can I open that? No. Oh. Hey. Hey, hey. You quit doing that. Well. Now you know how necromorphs are made. That's a very weird looking necromorph. Hey, hey, stop that! Ah, uh, rifle, rifle! Uh, come on! Are you serious? Hey! Run! Ah, oh, damn it! Try that again. This time, you gotta focus for the um, that thing. Or otherwise, he'll go around and make more necromorphs. There we go. Much easier. Oops, wrong button. Take the captain's rig, take all that stuff. Codes received, and they look good. Thank God. I'll start accessing the captain's records right now. Head to the tram station, and I'll contact you there. I'm going to find out what the hell happened to the ship. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Stuffs. Now. What the game wants you to do is to go over to that door and move up the elevator. Oh, what's that? A node. Health. Money. Now, on my first playthrough, I didn't go up there because I didn't realize that door. Instead, I went back. I went back. 
and then I called the elevator again, and I was going to take that really long route to go all the way back. Now let's see if, if it'll happen here. Then I went up the elevator, and it didn't replicate it. Oh well. Uh, I'll show you a clip if, at the end of the vi at the end of this video. Anyways, let's get the hell out of here. We'll go the way the game wanted us to go. It's too quiet. I remember. There's. It's gonna do another dickish enemy placement. Watch. Hey. It's one of those black necromorphs. Yeah, they're a lot tougher. Let's hope we don't run into many of them. I already don't like them. Hi. Somehow one of them found a way down to the captain's nest. I managed to contain it in a damaged escape pod. Lifting executive lockdown now. I found the deck logs. Whatever is happening around here, it came from the planet when they cracked it open. It spread to the colony and reached the ship. Isaac, this isn't an infection. It's some form of alien life. <laughs> Shit, we've got bigger problems. The ship's engines are offline and our orbit is decaying. Get over to the engineering deck ASAP while I stay here and figure out what the problem is. Okay. Let's do what he said. Let's get the hell out of here. Let's first go in the store. See if they have any more upgrades. We can get the flamethrower. Or the line gun. Or we can buy another power node. Kinda wanna buy that flamethrower. I feel we might need it eventually. Also, where... Let me pull up my map. Where was the workbench? Uh, the nearest one is all the way over there. Are you serious? They couldn't. They really couldn't put one closer. I have to go all the way back over there. Ugh. At least all the necromorphs are dead. Oh, watch the game's gonna spawn one just to be a dick. Hey, you already did that jump scare. Don't do it again. Hey, did I did I miss that? I don't remember this. There. If you guys really want to read this, go on ahead. I don't care. I never really cared for all this, all the lore stuff like that. I don't want to spend all my time trying to read. Uh, right. Let's upgrade my health. There we go.
All right. Well, I'm pretty. This is the end of chapter two. Every time it tells you to go to the tram, that's usually the end of the chapter. So. Chapter 2 complete. My oh god. I swear, chapter 2 is probably one of the creepier chapters. Mostly because of all that stuff you see. I think either it was chapter 3 or chapter 4 has... Is like the most... I don't know, it has the most unsettling vibe. And then I don't remember chapter 4 all that much. I think I got there and then I just stopped playing. So yeah. Thank you, everybody, for watching. And the next episode, or the next few episodes, will be going on to chapter three. See you guys then.